The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate your growling and problem with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 19, NASDAQ up 35, S&P is up 5, gold contract up $22, trading at $15.25 an ounce. You get silver up 19 cents, $18.35 an ounce. Light sweet crude, that's getting whacked. Down a buck 27, $54.47 a barrel. We were at 58 bucks yesterday. Like nothing, man. Notes and bonds. 10-year note up three ticks, 130. The 30-year bond up eight ticks, 160, 106. It's going to get interesting in that market, folks. So you pull back. You had light volume. You rejected lower price out here today. We'll see how this is going to shake out. King Doll is the big mover out here. King Doll is down 222 ticks, trade 97,955. King Doll was up almost a full penny uh, in about 800 ticks uh, this morning. Euro. Euro is at a buck ten. That's got to turn around. That was getting smoked. That's uh, decided to reject lower price. The euro, uh, the pound is at 123. The yen is at 107.69. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks at TD Meritrade. Think of swim as we do every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, outstanding show here. Every trading day, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. You want to under understand defined risk, options, the option market, futures, all the above. Uh, great program. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. Boy, uh, you know, another day, another big move in some of these names, you know. And I think the what really made this day move and these bonds move is two things. I thought Mario Draghi, and, and, you know, let's face it, all the announcements that he made were what we expected him to make. They were all pretty much expected, starting QE, lowering the, the deposit rate by, by 10 basis points. and But the guidance was even more dovish than we thought it would be. Yes. And that's where I think bonds kind of took off. Because let's face it, guys, you look at that CPI number that came out at 7.30 Chicago time, 8.30 Eastern. It was a little warm. It was a little on the, oh, yeah. you know, less food and energy, 2.4% on the year. That big. That's right. getting a little warm there. Yeah. So... You know, but Mario Draghi, then his comments came out. He started talking, and like I said, um, it's going to be an interesting day in the bond market. No, there's no for, doubt. For, for sure, because the U.S. market, that number was not weak in terms of inflationary data. No, it's in, it's inflationary in a big way, actually. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, that, and that's why no bonds doubt. have not held here. Yeah. You know, bonds were only up three ticks on everything Mario Draghi said. They were up over a point, and now we're sitting here up three ticks. So pretty significant day here in the bond market because at the end of the day, people are looking at the U.S. data going, wait a minute. We can't trade U.S. bonds off European data, especially when our data is coming in strong. Yeah. And, you know, the movement is extraordinary. I just want to switch yeah. gears on you for a second because, folks, if you were listening here on Tuesday when Kevin came on, you know, the speculation, well, you know, of course, we're in the speculative business of bottom line. Though Kevin was talking about the rotation. And you talk yes. about a rotation coming in, Kevin Hanks. Oh, my God. Yes. Meaning into the small caps. You know, it might have been a speculation on Tuesday morning, but it certainly wasn't Wednesday and Thursday, right? Right. Right, it's pretty pretty interesting. I mean, what they did to some, it was, you know, anything that had big numbers on it, and they went after what? They went after financials. They went after the Russell, and they even went after some beat up industrials. I'm telling that, you, man. that rallied the last that... few days. So it was pretty impressive, and it's fascinating because it wasn't just selling. When the Russells having a move like that, you know, that's a rotation. Yeah, that's. We haven't seen something like that in a long period of time. No, I mean, you're right. Tuesday, it's been Wednesday months heat. and months and months. Right. Almost, you know, a year and a half since, since we saw a rotation like this. Yeah. And, you know, the, the, you know the, the theory behind it, folks, would be that large money managers are getting out of momentum stocks at taking their profits because they made a fortune yep. and they're saying okay i'm actually going to go into value you know we've heard for a good couple of years that value you know 
is where it's at, but get, yet the value kept going down, 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 you know, so... It, it came through. Now we'll find out uh, just how far it goes, man. I mean, yeah, I mean, think about what, what they were buying. The Russell was strong in many ways because they were buying regional banks, right, which is such a big percentage of the Russell. That was lifting the Russell. And, you know, with, you know, financials, Jamie Dimon coming out saying the other thing that, that I've talked about on your show and we've talked about on our network is the fact that trading revenues for yeah. some of these financials are right. going to be a little better than expected because of the volatility we saw in the third quarter. Jamie Dimon confirmed that Tuesday when he came out and said they're going to be higher than we thought. You know, remember, the third quarter, you're talking about July, August, and September. Those are three normally pretty slow months for trading historically. Sure. Not this summer. No. This summer we were rocking the whole time. VIX was you know, between 17 and 20 and 21 for a lot of that third quarter. That's good. That's some good trading. So I think with the summer we had in a couple of weeks when, when financials come out with their earnings, I think the trading revenues are going to be a little better. You know, and, it, and that, that's going to be interesting. As we're just speaking here, Kevin, this is yeah, what's going on. This the is charts this, are moving. this is pretty phenomenal, folks. When, when we started speaking with Kevin, the S and P's were up eight points. They're up 16. The bonds, as you had just said, you know, the 30-year had been up three. Well, we're down eight right now. And Yeah, they, they yeah. just broke hard here. Bonds broke and, and E-minis popped, yes. right, as since we came on the air. Yeah. I'm sitting here watching it on my, on my screen as I'm talking to you guys, and... Uh, yeah, there's some interesting movement going on here. That's still for talking sure. Out there? He might well, be. you know what? You know what? I'm trying. To, I mean, we're all trying to wrap our heads around the, the you know the negative aspects, but there's no doubt when drug come out, what they're going to do, folks. That in November, they're going to buy back 22 billion a month in bonds. They they went down 10 more basis points, so now they're at a negative half a percent. Yes. Okay, on on a on a rate, and then they're. they're they're going to do what they they're going to do something else with the banks over there, so the banks aren't going to get hit as hard. I'm not quite sure how they they're, they're shaking yeah, with I that. I think some are going to be exempt from that. Yes, yeah. yeah. Um, but <laughs> that's pretty intense, man. And I the mean, twenty billion monthly, and I think it was something to the tune of as long as it takes, you know, the indefinite approach. As long as it takes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So that the yeah. market, yeah, that's. A and big so I I would say that you know. Uh, that the bottom line is that we're in a neg negative rate environment in a huge way here, man. I mean, this is like pretty intense. They're not going to stop buying those bonds till all is well. No. When's all going to be well? Uh, <laughs> and now we're not even talking Brexit, you know? I mean, Brexit's going to be a whole different animal. And it looks like, I mean, the, the pound is hanging tough here, you know? So a lot of moving pieces, man. So what are we going to be talking about on the show today, Kev? Uh, today, you know, uh, we were going to talk about Oracle. But yeah. Oracle kind of pre-released their earnings yesterday, so we're going to talk about, uh, like Folio's going to cover Yeti, the, you know, the cooler company. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're going to talk about Broadcom, that's got earnings after the bell, and then we're going to talk about something interesting. If you looked, Walgreens Boots Alliance got downgraded, and CVS got upgraded today. So we're going to talk about a pairs trade in those two names. Nice. Ooh. Nice. Which corner are you going to go to? The one on yeah. this corner or the one on that oh. corner? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no doubt. Listen, folks, 45 minutes from now, outstanding program. If you haven't test driven yet, think of Swim Platform, real easy to do. Right as your TFNN, hit that banner, bring it up. They'll allow you to trade to pay for money. Kevin, you have a great one, safe one. Of course, we, let, we have a great weekend. We look forward to speaking to you next Tuesday. Always great being on. Thanks for having me, you guys. Well, Thank Kevin. you. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today, and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. We have the Dow at 132, Nasdaq up 68, S&P is up 14, and uh, this may have been the story that was my driving. Yeah, there's no doubt. You got uh, Trump advisors considering interim China deal to delay tariffs. There we go. So officials in the administration have discussed offering a limited trade agreement to China that would delay or even roll back some of the U.S. tariffs for the first time in exchange for Chinese commitments on intellectual property and agricultural purchases. Interesting. Trump had tweeted earlier about buying more agricultural products, so uh, a right. headway to this. And uh, according to five people familiar, so some of President Donald Trump's top trade advisors in recent days have discussed the plan in preparation for two rounds of face-to-face -face negotiations with Chinese officials in Washington taking place in the coming weeks. So let's get it down to consumer goods. One of the main goals is to strike a deal that would allow the administration to avoid going ahead with more tariffs in December. So cutting off those that had been announced that would hit consumer products, from smartphones to toys to laptops. Also in play is a further delay in a tariff rate hike due to take effect in October. Yeah. And then they got intellectual property in here as well, but that news seemed like it hit the press right at about 10.10. And uh, man, oh man, right? The S&P, that's a five-minute bar from 3,004 to 3,019. You had it across the board. NASDAQ 100 just went, if you could back it up from 10 till, 79.10 to 79.78, just mammoth night. And then even crude oil getting a pop from 54 up to 55. You can see that news right at 10.10, even hitting that market, and gold pulling back a bit. Yeah. yeah. Natural gas, right? We do. Thursdays, natural gas, that's right. Let's jump over. We'll pull it up. I'm going to close these out real quick. So we get the inventories at 1030. Jumping into commodities, natural gas, to the dailies. We're trading right now at 253. So we're looking at the October contract. And, and we know that they go in the fives, right? Yeah, usually. Yeah. Right. So you're going to get price points um, that usually go on the every nickel. So trading at 253.6, maybe you could get as close as 255. What's going to happen is on the 11 a.m.s, we're going to have 250 as an option to gain upward or downward exposure. And again, we kind of looked at yesterday with oil, though. This kind of sets up nice. I like to look at these trades if you are directionally biased, right? Number one, you have good trades on either direction almost in terms of this is not a bad trade. When you're getting in, you have 
a 20 cent spread, right? So that's a big spread. So Huge. as a result of that, though, it's going to trade right almost at value. So let's say you're going short. You're risking one to make two. You're selling it at 253.5, and it's trading at 253.6. It's a All nice right. trade when you're that. Now, granted, there's probably as much exposure to the upside as downside, especially with 11 a.m., but you could do the same exact thing going in for the positive side. This one even a little bit better, so you're going to be almost three ticks, but risking 40 to make. It's exactly a four to four, four eight. eight. Yeah, exactly a four to one. And for that four to one option in your favor, you have to buy it at 254.1 as opposed to 253.8. Not a bad buy when especially you have inventory numbers coming in nine minutes. So let's see where the new ones line up. Whoops. New contracts do give you that 255 option, so a little bit closer. So let's set this one up on volatility. It's going to have a little bit of a bearish bias because we're under 255. So here's your bullish spread. That's going to be all premium. No intrinsic value, 11 bucks. There's your bearish spread. You start getting value at 255. We're trading at almost 254, so about a yeah. penny you're paying. And that's why this is going to be the pricey one. You're paying 11 cents more, which is about 1.1 pennies, which is intrinsic value. If it expired where it's at right now, you get 11 bucks back on the bearish side. And that's the 12 o'clock one. That's okay. the 12. So you're looking at 33 bucks, which is 3.3 pennies. Keep it in mind, you have exactly a one penny head start to the downside. Right. Right? Right. Yeah, and let's just see if the dailies line up at all. 2.30. We got 2.50 as our option, go until a 2.30. Now, interesting, just to take a look at the same thing. If you were bullish, this time you have profit potential up to 2.90. You're getting in a 2.54.4. The market is 2.53.9. But pretty sweet risk reward until 2.30. And the only thing you're basically paying for that is the 2.54.4 over 2.53.8. Six ticks. All right. Not bad. Not, then that's, that's a lot of time. Yeah. Okay. So let me pull up MG. Let's see. Active contract. Where are we at here? So 253. Have we had enough action in this market? Look at that. That's been quite a run. Oh, it's too. just huge, man. That only goes back to August 5th. It's September 12th. And you're talking about going from, I mean, for simplicity's sake, call it two bucks to 260. Yeah. So. Let's take a look at this. Well, I mean, even yesterday, right? Even, yeah. Even you back it up until uh, Tuesday. We were just sitting at 264. We, sit, we just touched 252. It's 12 pennies. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. Well, We've seen oil back off in that time dramatically as well. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we'll see what happens. I, we sure will. I think it's going to have a hard time getting it to higher price. But Can we go into no. the whisper? W-H-I-S? The H -I -S. Let's put in a value. I think they go. give us in, do they give us until five minutes ahead of time. They sure do. We it's get open. 60 seconds. Okay. So the Worcester number is going to be 81. Uh, we think there's going to be more or less. We're going to have to get a poll going uh, on yeah. the TFNN site when these come up. We'll get a poll. We'll do it for the first 20 minutes of the program, right? And then we'll get to peg it. So it's, you know, what's interesting here is that the survey number is 81 plus the whisper. And that's unusual, and that's the same. Everyone's yeah. agreeing with it. Yeah. And the whisper number is, I believe, like the Bloomberg number. They do it for themselves. Yeah. That that's, that's you know, people like us are about to bid. Where does that number average up? Right. So keep in mind that it could be just very, very abstract. Right? Totally. There's no, there's no money wagered on that whisper right. number. Um, what are you going to put in? What are we going to put? We're going to put, how about, how about we go, uh, we go low. We go 68. Oh, that means yeah, we, we want higher prices. We just went from two bucks to two sixty. <laughs> we're gonna, go to we're, three, gonna right? we're gonna keep the <laughs> we're gonna keep the run going to the upside. Oh my god! All right, we're in at sixty eight. We get the, we get the news at ten thirty. Perfect. Yeah. All right, let's jump around. So the volatility is gonna be out here today. There's no doubt about that. I mean, the real question is gonna be is that what does the market believe? Does the market believe that that's the mantra going out there that they always gotta keep pushing something out on the trade? trying to trade talks uh, to basically bully this market, yes. okay? Because the bottom line is that this is, this is turning into a huge political deal, too, between the farmers, between, you know, I have the to, taxes. So I've been saying, right, now we get the election in 14 months, all right? So this yeah. is going to wrap up. News say from the president, you, no matter where you fall in the political aisle, he could use a win no matter what over the next right. 14 months. Any right. president is going to be aware that they're running for re-election. And interestingly enough, you have... A Democratic debate tonight, first time you have the 10 candidates on the stage at the same time oh, as this okay. number comes out. Yeah. Uh, but nonetheless, you're saying it's going to get political. We have a debate for the first time, all the candidates on the stage tonight. So it will start really getting into that. As, oh, yeah. yeah. Big time. Yes. So good old King Dolly. When we take a look at King Dolly, folks, you know, this was quite a move uh, both ways. And, you know, what this would be saying, 
you know, King Dollar tried to get to that high, last high. Last swing high was 98,900. Look I at think. that bar, high to low yeah. for today. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it didn't make it. It made 98,670. Okay. Then it gave it up. Now, if you were looking at the how the euro was trading, it's almost, you know, the, the euro basically got destroyed and then came right back. I mean, yeah, everything had. We'll have yeah. to pull up the, the chart of even the bonds, the same exact thing, right. you know, all right. over the place from, you know. yeah. And what that would be saying is that, guess what? We're going to be, so, so picture, yeah, they went down in rates again. Fundamentally, yes. they would say that the euro should be worth less money, right? Yes. But then the market is saying, well, guess what? We're going to go down in rates too. So this is going to be a tit for tat. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's that's what the market just did here. You know. For sure. Dow Dow Industrials up 111, Nasdaq up 63, S&P's up 14. Tommy, I get right back with these uh, gas numbers, folks. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, EIA, natural gas stockpiles rolls 78 BCF. I got a little exuberant with the 68. I should have went for the 78 yeah. undercut, but let's see. We still were about three under, right? And natural gas, quick spike above. Uh, you were trading right at about 254. We came into that. So a blip over 255, and now we're sitting right in the middle, 254, 64. Not a huge miss from the, from the 81 number, but a miss nonetheless. 
and we'll see how it shakes out. I was, we were reading an article that kind of came up here at the break, and it was interesting, just talking about the Permian Basin, and this is where that glut is coming from, it's right? It's a monster, So folks. again, this, you see this? Yeah, look at, uh, so what it, we'll read, soaring production in the Permian Basin of West Texas and New Mexico, where gas is extracted as a byproduct of oil drilling, will help push prices, this article is estimating, below the $2 per million BTU. And to really put it home, check out the production. Just going back to a year ago, you were at right. under 12.5 million, and you're approaching 15 million just in the Permian Basin. And they just talk about how uh, the consumption is not keeping up with that, right. and that is causing the build. Though demand is rising as exports climb and more gas-fired power plants are built, the boost in consumption has been no match for surging output from the shale basin. So we got a big. Isn't, we that, bought, isn't that amazing? It is amazing. We got a, you know, a glut. They were looking for an even bigger glut, though. So that's where things matter. Right. Maybe you'll trade a bit higher. 255, nonetheless, up about a penny from, uh, from that news. Pretty wild, man. I mean, natural gas just is everywhere. Yeah, you want some volatility, man. That's why I kind of like going over those trades. Oil, too, it moves so quick. Because if you're trading that number in, like, a futures market ahead of... Oh. Man, I would be sweating if that number ever yeah. came out really wrong. That's why, they, that's why they call the natural gas the widow maker. You know, you know? It's, you and they have stops the don't exist when, right. you know, just a, the, you, you don't have stops when you gap a full penny on basically just a bare miss, let alone right. if we ever got some real action. As you can see already, two to three pennies, we're getting an acceleration at a higher prices. We'll check back. By the time we check back, we're going to see 260. Maybe we'll see. Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here and see what's moving around. Oh, actually, what I want to do first, you were talking about this Walmart. Pretty let's, cool, man. Let's see this Walmart deal. What, Pretty what cool. Is, so Walmart's up 38 cents right now. That is trading. One more time, please. Let's see. So 160, we're, we're at high. Hold back a bit, though. One, we're up at 117.07. Yeah. I think it might have even been. Let me just check real quick before, because I think it might have been higher even pre-market. Let's see. No, that's basically on the open it was. So the story out there, we'll go into it, is grocery delivery, right? $98, I believe. Yes, so annual service, $98 for grocery delivery. Uh, if you use the service, what a convenience. And I, I'm not even advertising, right? You pay yeah. it one time and you get groceries delivered. To compare that, you have Amazon's. It's $180 a year, which is on top of having to be a Prime member. So you're talking about $299. Now there's a tremendous amount of value that comes with that Prime delivery. But still, $180 on top of $119. And um, even if you have a student discount to talk, so unlimited free grocery deliveries through the retailer will continue to offer paper delivery service for non-members. So, so you have both. You, have, you, you can pay per delivery, or you can just say, okay, I'm not going to leave my house. I know what I want. Yes. So and they had tested it in Tampa. I'm unaware. I, I got to get on the hook yeah. there. Um, but it's now coming to 200 metro areas where the company already offers delivery. Service will be available in more than 1,600 stores, 50% of the country by the end of this calendar year. Boy, we're just, we're, we're, we're definitely a delivery. It's on the cusp, right? Yeah, Things are, like everything. Everything. And that's everything. why I, I instinctively, because they should, target a much smaller company. But interesting that when you jump over to Target this morning, pretty similar look on that on that news that it popped higher from under 109 to almost 109.67 you know that could be the market but yeah. i feel like that's the market saying hey you know what these companies are equipped to roll out something like that you get some stable subscription revenue which is pretty cool and on it's on top of paying for the goods you're paying a yeah. hundred dollars a year to only get your groceries from walmart that they they have to like that deal uh, but undercutting Amazon. Have you got groceries delivered before? I have not. Yeah. Now, I've, I've tried a meal service, which I didn't like because those actually were too much food to cook too often. You didn't have as much choices, but I love the idea and I might do it. I imagine especially if you had a family with kids yeah. where you, you are on a set, set schedule. I'm on less of a schedule to that. I, I just see it as a tremendous value. I mean, seriously, talk about it's, time value for people whose time. I happen to have more time than most people do, I imagine, when you have kids and running around to eliminate that trip to the grocery store. The value of your time, folks, I mean, just tremendous. If you, if you do one hour a week, that's 52 hours for $100. You're saving two dollars an hour is your time worth that for most people it definitely is and that's yeah. only at one hour a week i imagine people spend more than that sometimes in the supermarket two no, trips there, for there, half hour no there, there's the the reason i'm asking uh 
I've done it once. When we went okay. sailing, so picture folks, you know, when I was sailing up in Newport, I got it delivered to the boat, and it was a great service, okay, because two different things. You're not lugging anything. Definitely. You know what I mean? Yep. Now, the, this what the difference was, right? The difference is, is that you're not picking out your vegetables. Okay. You, you know, you, yep. and it was still worth it. Sure. Don't get me wrong. But it gets, it was kind of intriguing. Do you know what I mean? Because yep. I'm saying to myself, okay, so it depends on who's picking out your stuff and, you know, you know what it is. So. And what stuff. I mean, to be yes. fair, is Walmart produce as fresh as Amazon's Whole Foods? I mean, that's where you're going to yeah. have that yeah. um, for sure. Yeah. So they have some brand loyalty, I'm sure. Uh, Walmart, a little bit of brand, you know, loyalty. I wouldn't say problems, but are, do you associate them with the freshest of produce? Not in my head, I don't, you know, but yeah. they might get there. They definitely right. might. Well, you know what's interesting is that the... Because the... just to finish, I don't have a problem with them. They're the discount retailer at the cheapest price. You know, that's what yeah. I think of to them. I don't think of the freshest quality produce. I think of a, a discount major retailer. Right. Versus Amazon, I think of the same thing. But then they have the Whole Foods brand, so they have the best of both worlds a right. little bit. So there. Yeah. Now that being said, the now not the big WalMarts, but they have these smaller WalMarts yes. open 24 hours. Yes. Now the one down the street from my house is phenomenal. Yeah, and, I, I and, wish I could think of names. The community, and, local, and, and or, there's some. Yeah. I think the reason being, even the vegetables. Yeah. But I think the reason is, is that they go through so much. You know what I mean? When you walk in, now it doesn't look as pretty, yeah. right? But that's fresh beyond belief sure. because I think they're rolling it out and there's boxes everywhere. Okay. Do you know what I mean? But you know, so yeah, yeah. But even if you s separate that out, right, where you go for your produce, though, I mean, just massive amount of items that you go to that are on the regular. Oh, for that sure. You can yeah. pick out that, whether it's cereal, it is what milk, it is. It cheese, is. Exactly. eggs, right. coffee, creamer. Right. The list goes on. Right. Yeah. No, no doubt. Ninety-eight bucks, man. Not yeah. bad. You pay more than that and get gas, big time. Yeah, and then again, your time. People don't often value time well enough in terms of going after something that might, you know, cost you, you know, save you $50, but are you going to spend 20 hours of time tracking down this $50 oh, yeah. reimbursement for something, you know, if you have that time and you enjoy it, more credit to you. But if you're, not a lot of people do that equation in their head that use that 20 hours for either enjoyment or something else, and you'll end up with more than $50 of value somewhere. You know, it's almost, folks, it seems like 10 years from now, half the cars and trucks on the Highway are going to be delivery. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were going to say the other half are going to be rideshare. That's, that's yeah, yeah. They are. Right, right. Because cars, man, you want to talk about expensive uh, and the value of your time. Yeah. Imagine you get all that time back that you're driving, let alone, right? Half yeah. hour to work, half hour home. That's an hour of your time. You could be sitting there doing work. Dow. Dow Industrial is up 101. NASDAQ up 55. SP is up 13. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in a Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. 
Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow's up 96. Nasdaq's up 53. S and P's are up 12. Let's just go look at these S and P's for a bit. I mean, we sure. are, we have been all over the place here. Like Kevin said, man, action every day, right? Look at this. Okay, I know so, that pop. We're pulling back now. Yeah. And lots of own equities themselves moving. I saw Apple was up again today. Look at that low, 3,002.75, and the high, 3,022.75. So that was at 9.50, and then at 10-10, yeah. you were up 20 paint points. And again, that was that China news, potential deal or right. delay of tariffs. And we've paired some of that, though. Yeah, and where we are right now, this is going to be the number. I mean, it's 3,015. Sure. You know? Yeah, we've been kind of oscillating yeah, around that you know. all the way since, you call it, uh, late last night. Yeah. You know, you get back inside that, then you get game down to the bottom, which would be pretty shocking for <laughs> the market in general. Shocking Just almost everywhere, right? Jumping back to the natural gas. So 256.4, we're sitting about 254. A uh, little bit of movement. We got that kind of initial thrust sitting at 256.6. I just want to pull up real quick a chart of the 10-year yield. Because it's always interesting with these bonds, especially on a day like today, man. Checking out the yield and the chart. Talk about some action, right? So on that 830 ECB, you go from 172 down to, looked like we were going to retrace. 166. Yeah, 166. And uh, back above where we were at before the ECB came out, which right. is crazy. It really is. Yeah. So we had, we had a question in the den about uh, how Amazon, would it be profitable, you know? Yeah, they said, how are they going to do the delivery and be profitable? Right. Well, that's assuming they care about being profitable. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit. Exactly, and, and you know, when Tommy, now. I was just talking at the break, folks. Okay, I we were really looking and saying, I was saying, and he, he was saying yes at the same time. Like, give it 24 hours, and I suspect that Amazon is going to come down to the same price or lower than yeah. um, Walmart. And I almost sarcastically, but you got to keep it in mind. I said, is, is Bezos just going to smack them right down? Can you imagine me came out and said, free for Prime members. No, I'm with you. Match me there. Right. Uh, right. But you met. And I, and I say, you know, even if you don't go to Walmart, I was excited to see that because Amazon's going to have to compete. Target's going to have to compete. That's yeah. a really affordable price. That's going to benefit the consumers overall when these right. companies, because it should not be, if Walmart can do that at $98, you don't have to be a Prime member. Why do I have to be a Prime member for $119? So even if you're not, then you still got to pay $180. Yeah. So they should be able to pay less than... And I'm sure they're having that discussion. I wonder, let's look at Costco and stuff, because, you know, this is where this gets into, you know, like the, the, the Costco's of the world. I mean, you know, you're talking about big box store, but you're also talking about like some of the items that you buy there. First off, you have to drag them home, like, you know, well, they, rolls of toilet paper. They rolls. cut cost everywhere. Right? Yeah, they they right. don't give you big bags that bag everything right. because it's a warehouse. Right. And if you want big bags, you're going to pay prices for yeah. those things. Right. Yeah. 
It's not hurting the stock, though. <laughs> Can you go closer afterwards? I just yeah. want to see if how that reacted this morning, um, yeah. as in for a 15-minute maybe or a 5-minute. Yeah. No, not really nothing. a huge reaction. Isn't that wild? I mean, you did get a pop on the open from nothing. I mean, we're up to two, yeah. three dollars above. The, we're up a percent actually. So I wonder how that plays out. Saying maybe they're well positioned if it's going to be a price battle because the only money Costco makes is off of mostly the membership fees. Uh, look at they gotta, so the membership fees, folks, in revenue at Costco is three point one billion a year. Um, they take one hundred thirty-eight billion. Yeah. But they, and look at the growth. They, they're still growing by 6%. That's amazing. Yeah. That's, that's a big number, man. What I are mean, they making? Seven? They're about to make eight bucks, call it, this year. How many shares per share for the fiscal year? How many shares they got outstanding right now? About 440 million. See, that's so not see, many, which this is, is pretty what, cool. This is where yeah. I go. So you take, I mean, we're, let's peg the exact number because I believe it comes right out to their membership fees is their profit. Come on, calculator, load for me. There we go. Because if you do the 440... We'll pull it over here because it's simple math, right? Times, let's just say, eight bucks, three point five billion, and you can see that when we just went over there, that's, that's what the fees were. Their fees are three point one. So Pretty isn't that cool. cool that they literally just so take how did, in your how did fee? How you figure that out? Well, uh, you have earnings per share. Uh, I got it. Okay. And cool. then you multiply cool. it. How many shares? So that's their earnings. So and that that's their. And I just use eight bucks ballpark. No, no, I'm with you. But that, that's how you figure the membership fees. Interesting. Yeah. I had, I had already known this because yeah. it's a cool fact when you hear about it. Well, you say, geez. If you're just making that money, then I almost feel much better as a consumer. Yeah. No one, you're not making a dime, no matter how much I spend in there, because wow. the only yeah. real margin is for people at checkout, right. for your electricity, right. for whatever it is. The only thing you're making in the bottom line is my monthly membership fee, and everything else is basically at your cost. That's a cool. Uh, that is. Yeah. And to be fair, though, what did we just do? The number came in at like 3.5 billion. So yeah. they're, they're making memberships plus 10% uh, there. Right. Yeah. But that's nothing. It that's, is. No, that's, no it's, it's a good that's value. That's intriguing, man. The only thing they should do an ad like that. The only thing that they but should. But that'd be, it'd they probably be too tough hit, for a lot of, but that. It hit me in terms of being great value. Um, yeah. Right. The only thing that's tough for them is that Amazon doesn't even need to make money. They right. can They can do it just at cost and get you into their system, and they're probably happy adding. What was it, $138 billion of revenue? Yes. They don't, they, they'll take that revenue without profit and put you into their system. Wow. Right? Oil. Let's go take a look at that oil market out here. So uh, oil's been moving around. Oh, my God. Look at the size of this oil move. So yep. let's see. Yeah, Tuesday we're Tuesday. at 58.76. Yep. And even yesterday we are above 58. Yeah, to touching 54 exactly. And you come off that high with volume. That's that's a you know we did uh, big contract volume yesterday, 859,000. Yeah, you know, and, and you know to be fair to the move, there's there's big news. Let's talk about Trump possibly extending 15 billion dollars in credit line to the Iranians to come back to the table. National Security Advisor that was staunchly against that, basically getting fired whether he resigned or not. So some some news that might reverberate. Yeah, and you know when we did that. Bottom line, folks, is that we're in the lower range now. I mean, you, you know, you broke that trend uh, on the way up uh, from August 7th. So that that does put 50 bucks, 50 50 uh, on the line once again. You know, we'll see how that uh, baby shakes out. But it, it's, it's just amazing how much energy we actually have. You know, yeah, there's a lot of energy all over the place here. How about know? Apple? Can we take a look? Because Apple up a buck 85. Kind of still oh, you get a little delayed to action. Look coming at off that, the heels of yesterday's move, yeah. I mean, you know, you go back to where we were coming right before they announced their Apple TV um, in terms of on Tuesday, and you had a bar that, wow, one day pre prior to that? Nope, just yeah. uh, the the beginning of the run. I mean, you were down at 211.71 right. for the low of that day. We're sitting at 225. You're talking about $14 so from middle of the trading day two days ago, 48 hours. Big move. 499 for Apple TV, the market liking that, continuing to like it. And then, okay, okay so that's the, the all-time high is 233, and we're sitting at two, yeah, that's it. Yeah. So that's, that's quite a consolidation. The low 142, oh man, the high 233, $90 consolidation on a $230 number. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. we'll, see we've, well, we've now clawed back 80 of it, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, monster number. Um, 
Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials up 122, NASDAQ up 58, S&P's up 14. Come right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Flint, blink, folks, and the market is up and down 20. In this case, the S&Ps are down 20. Don't miss a, yeah. a minute in this market, man. We're trying to find the headline. There it is. White House not considering an interim China deal, CNBC. And they actually have the quote phrase in the den, absolutely not. So, so right. it seems like it was a strong repudiation. And, yeah, to jump over to where we are in the markets now, take a moment. Dow's only up 11, right? S&P's only up 3. And I believe we still have the chart back here in terms of the indices. Is that it? There it is. S&P. Look at that pullback. So, boom. We just go from 3,018 to 3,003. 15 points, which is half a percent shaved off in an instant. And to see how that is hitting even the bonds, we now get the 10-year positive, one tick, 30-year positive by 3, and gold catching a bit as well. Up 17 bucks now, 15.20. Yeah. And in the gold market, folks, uh... Next Wednesday. Next Wednesday night, I'm going to be doing a workshop for my subscribers. Real easy to uh, come into. Just come over to our website at TFNN under Featured Content. You, 
You're going to see the gold report, and uh, bottom line is that the, the workshop in general is going to be okay. Uh, next leg up in gold, 1794, find out why. Pretty cool. Okay. We'll see what happens, man. You got some cool charts up there that you're going to be looking at. You've already been setting up your presentation. Yeah. So a week from last when last this yeah. yesterday, six days from right now. And when you do sign up, you gain instant access to all those archives, 30-day money-back guarantee. You think gold's been moving at all recently? Oh, yeah. And I know you closed out some great positions. Congrats on those over the last week, man, for that run. Just, and, you know, huge. fundamentally, it's going to be a technical and fundamental uh, webinar, folks, but fundamentally the bottom line is that the ECB said it all today. It is going to destroy fiat currency. That's the bottom line. It sets line. the bar even higher, I think, for it, Powell next week, it right? It does, no, no doubt. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. we got our man, Mr. Kevin Hicks, CD Meritrade. Meritrade coming up next. Then we get our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon. Thanks, Bell. Thanks, man. Oh, Go get him, folks.